What is up, Human Nation? So today's video, I'm going to be feeling really old by watching this. It's by The Things. Ten pictures that will make you feel old. And seeing that the Motorola phone is here 20 years ago. God damn. All right. Let's do this. Let's get this oldness out of the way. Did you realize that the last class born in the 90s will be graduating in 2017? If you were born in that amazing decade, this is going to make you feel old. We're just starting to realize old. that we're adults now. So today, Adulting we're celebrating hard. our childhood with memories from the 90s and early 2000s. Do you remember what was the link between a pencil and a cassette? Watch this video to find out. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe to The Things and <laughs> give this video a big content. thumbs up. Show Today we're content. showing you 10 pictures that will make you feel old. Old cell phones. <laughs> Nowadays, we can't live without our cell phones. We sleep with them, eat with them, go to the bathroom with them. People yep. are so obsessed with this technology that being separated from your smartphone became a new fear. It's called nomophobia, an abbreviation for no mobile phone phobia. You know what? I didn't know that was a word, but yeah, not having your cell phone around is kind of like that. Because I went to uh, Thanksgiving one time at my uh, aunt's place and I forgot my phone. As a matter of fact, all of us forgot our phone. It was kind of weird, but we actually talked like normal human beings for once. It felt good. It felt good. Yeah, but decades ago, owning a cell phone was not as much fun as it is now. Sending a text message took so much time because you had to press a number up to four yeah. times just to type out it's one so letter. Annoying. One of our first smartphones in the 2000s had a keyboard, and we were amazed by this. Amazed. It is far from the touchscreens we have now. And do you remember the Nokia phones? Oh, Nowadays, when our my... iPhone falls on the floor, the screen breaks. But in oh the my god, the Nokia phone. My mom had that when it first came out. I miss that phone. Even when I got my Motorola phone, I would have it like at 85% for like two weeks. That And this fucking thing dies in a, in a day. Ugh. 90s, when a Nokia fell on the floor, it almost broke the floor. But there is at least one thing that we like about cell phones in the 90s. They were so difficult to use that we were happier without them. Yep. Kids didn't have a smartphone, but we used different ways to talk to our friends in class. We shared messages written on a piece of paper. And yep. we were so embarrassed when a teacher found it and read it in front of everyone else. Did that ever happen? Lucy, do you Tell like me? In the comments below. <laughs> Tamagotchis. Oh my god, Tamagotchis. We now have to go to school during the week, work during the weekends, sleep eight hours a night, and try to maintain a social life. We can't help but think that we were so lucky when we were kids. Life was so much easier when all we had to think about was our Tamagotchi. In the 2000s, we used to press three... Can I just say, when my cousin got a Tamagotchi, she almost lost her shit because she forgot her Tamagotchi at home and she was crying the whole day. She goes like, my Tamagotchi's gonna die. It's starving at home. And we had to tell her, it was like, you know, it's just like a pet. What do you do when you leave your pet at home and it's hungry? It just cries. Relax, it'll be, it'll be all right. Turns out the Tamagotchi died. Damn. Different buttons to take care of this little digital creature. We had to feed them when they were hungry, play mini games with them to make them happy, and scold them when they didn't behave well. Tamagotchi players started the game with a baby, and the pet grew up to a child, a teenager, and an adult if we took good enough care of them. It might I seem simple, far. but it was just much got up more to difficult baby to do than it. what kids nowadays so might think. When you forgot your Tamagotchi for a day, he could become sick or even die. At yep. least this made us appreciate much more what our moms did for us. We understand what parenting was, but with with this digital pet, we proudly claimed that we could take care of a real animal. Can you believe that our Tamagotchis have been dead for more than 10 years? Oh my, we have been years. such horrible parents. Damn. MSN Messenger. Oh US shit. smartphone owners aged 18 to 24 Starman send on average more than 44 was my text eight, messages my every message month name. and almost 70 every day. But in the 2000s, we didn't have a phone and we needed another way to communicate. When we were teenagers, the best way to talk to our friends after school was MSN Messenger. Go to we had to wait for our mom to stop using the phone and then we were able to connect to the like, internet. Mom, we get all had phone. the craziest talk nicknames, my friends. the coolest way to write our names, too many emojis, and a random quote. And 
we weren't happy when we saw that someone copied our nickname. Yeah, we usually man. talk to our best friends, but we were really happy to have our crush in our contact list. And we didn't even talk to them. We were too shy to make the first step. Instead, we just kept signing in and out so they could notice us. When we finally had the courage to talk to this boy or girl we liked, we pretended that it was the wrong conversation or that our friend did it for fun. Yep, and then we had to ask our friend if our crush was online because we were worried they blocked us. Do you remember doing any of these? Tell us what the funniest nickname you used on MSN was. Starvin Marvin 44. Nintendo 64. Uh, the we best. are now able the to best. control video game characters with our movements, dance with our friends in front of the TV, and even discover a new world in virtual reality. No matter what is coming next, the best I games can't we do played virtual reality are on the Nintendo 64. Glasses but first, we had to get on our knees and annoying. blow on the cartridges to make them work. If it worked the <laughs> Pause. first time, but first we had to get on our knees and blow on the cartridges. Yep make them work. If it worked the first time, we were really lucky. If not, we had to blow on them again. We never knew how it would be a good idea, but everyone's cousin told them to do that. This console was also impossible to break. Now yeah. you look at an Xbox One yep. and it explodes. In the 90s, you dropped a television on a Nintendo 64 and the console didn't even care. We also had the best video games we could ever play. We Old all had our favorite course. character in Super Smash Bros and Mario Kart. We played with our siblings after school and we were really proud to beat them at this game. And don't forget The Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi's Story. But the best video game in the world was Super Mario 64. Yep. We just had to jump in one of the paintings in the castle, and we had the best childhood Damn, ever. Penguin. I if hated that penguin. If there's one thing we would like to keep nowadays, it's the Nintendo 64. I gotta find Pencils. that on the Marketplace. Pencils. As adults, we have to use black or blue pens. And if we don't, our college teacher or our boss won't be happy to see this. Oh but my in our God, childhood, that was so we annoying. had the best pencils ever. We begged our mom to buy us the funniest school supplies we could find so we could be one of the most popular kids in the class. One of them was the pen with 10 different colors. God we would damn, pick any color we want to take notes in class. And we have to admit that we all tried pushing every color at the same time. Oh Another yeah. thing we loved was milky gel rollers. It just looked so pretty. And we were jealous when a girl in our class had more milky gel pens than us. So we competed against her by asking our mom to buy Mr. Sketch Magic markers. They all smelled like different kinds of food. We knew we would get a lot of attention from it because all the other kids wanted to smell them. But when we wanted something practical, we used the push pencils. They were the ancestors of the mechanical pencils. Unfortunately, as soon as we lost some of these little things, we couldn't get our favorite pencils. And push pencils I never really liked because the mechanical pencils were so annoying for me. I just couldn't stand them. I just couldn't stand them anymore. If only our pencil cases could be filled with all these magical school supplies once again. Game Boys. Uh, Nowadays, everyone can play video games on their cell phones. We yes. have hundreds of choices to download for free, and there's always a popular new game to be addicted to. It's like we're taking things for granted. But in the 90s, a Game Boy was on everyone's Christmas list. Hell the main yeah. Every reason year we wanted I this would little get, gadget was not Mario, Christmas Zelda, list. or Tetris. Not one time we did I get wanted to be the My cousin best, did, and I was so no jealous. One ever was. Every 90s kid wanted to play Pokemon. Pokemon Go was so popular in 2016, but we know that the real Pokemon trainers have been catching them all since 1990. And when we felt like our parents didn't love us enough to buy a Game Boy, we played with Pokemon cards instead. 90s kids spent their entire pocket money trying to collect um, as many Pokemon, I was in Pokemon cards Pokemon as band. possible. I can never but do you remember into one it. thing our Game Boys could do that I'll is play popular today? Mario on we Game Boy really ahead of I stole our time. It from my cousin. In the 1990s, it was possible to take selfies with the Game Boy camera. We were so impressed by these tiny black and white heavily pixelated images. Our face was barely recognizable, but hey, we had to start somewhere. Maybe that's why we're all so good at taking pictures of ourselves nowadays. <laughs> yes. Windows 95. Ah, uh, Windows 95. We never like updates on our computer. It takes so much time to download and we feel like the version we used before was better. But when we look at Windows 95, we understand that these updates were for the best. This technology was new to all of us and we needed a video guide to understand what is now so intuitive. Video but guide? What the hell are you talking guide, about? Oh, that. VHS yeah, with yeah. Jennifer Aniston and Matthew Perry from the TV show Friends. And when we just didn't have time to watch this, the friendly paperclip named Clip was there to help us. I mostly got Sometimes help from Clippy all the time. For no reason at all. No matter what, we were always happy to see Clippy because he was kind of cute. And also because there were so many strange and unexpected errors on Windows 95. Computers were supposed to be intelligent, but that's what made them so complicated. And they were kind of slow. Nowadays, we can easily watch movies in streaming all day, but in the 90s, it seemed like it took 39 years to download one song. That's a yes. thing we want to leave in the past. Two but weeks if there to get is a movie from Kazaa, get AIDS on your computer. 
and savor. We would like to see the maze again, just for the nostalgia. The maze. VHS. I still have the there is enough place on one little DVD for our favorite film in 10 different I languages. I would videotape stuff on a four hour tape. Games. It was and the best thing ever. And we don't even need ever. that anymore as we can find more movies than we could ever watch in a lifetime online. But in the 90s, we had to go to Blockbuster to rent our favorite Blockbuster films Blockbuster rocks video. And watching them was uh, really different than it is nowadays. There was a different VHS video for Tron. every language, so you wanted to make sure you rented the right one or you wouldn't understand anything. You also had to rewind them after watching it. And we weren't happy when the <laughs> previous customer didn't do it because we had to wait 10 minutes before watching our film. But there are yeah, so man. many things that were better that with the VHS. Was, was we could something easily skip then. the previews if we didn't want to watch doing them. Something. Even though we didn't use the VHS for 15 years, it remembered where we left off. And it didn't wake us up with loud, repetitive menus when we fell yeah. asleep in front of the TV. Ooh. Don't forget the orange VHS. We were so happy to find one. Fortunately, we still have a friend who keeps all their VHS I Disney Princess some. movies. Watching so them together some. is the best way to have threw away some a pajama party. Even garbage. now that we are grown-ups. Yeah. Pencil sharpeners. Now Boss that we're studying bitch. college or working, most of us use pens, and we don't want to go back to the time when we had to sharpen our pencils. We all, all remember the that front. one embarrassing moment when we forgot our personal pencil sharpener, so we had to use the one that was mounted on the wall in class. It made so much noise. Wait, wait hold on a second. Why would that be embarrassing? I gave no shit. I would go up there all the time. Lots of people in my school went up there and didn't give a fuck. What was that embarrassing? And we were standing there in front of the class as everyone was watching us. It felt like a tiny person was hidden inside and just used a noisy chainsaw to sharpen our pencils. And it was a knuckle destroyer too. This was a moment any shy kid feared so much. We didn't want to be the one using it when everyone was silent. We just waited for the break or for someone to use it first so we wouldn't be the only one. Sometimes mm. we were just too shy to stand up and we just stayed at our desk with a pencil we couldn't use. But one thing What's was fun with these, with these pencils. The shorter they were, the cooler they they were. We tried no, to do the, the same thing with erasers, word. but we just kept losing them. Did anyone else really use an entire eraser? We don't think it was One even time. possible. One Cassettes. time. We don't even use CDs anymore. Now all the music I'm we can old. listen to is either CDs. on our cell phone or simply streaming online. But there was You're a time when music somewhere. didn't come for free, and we really appreciated the little things we had. We know how precious our audio cassettes were because I the sold all my cassettes. came out of it. Or maybe all those we were the music, one responsible all that music for that. Anyway, we had to fix that problem. Off the radio. Kids these days will never truly understand the link between a cassette and a pencil. We had to put the pencil in the hole of the audio cassette and turn it so the tape would go back in place. And it was not mm -hmm. the only problem we had. Remember when you wanted to listen to your favorite Spice Girls cassette but accidentally pressed the record button instead? Oh Shit. my gosh, our music was gone forever. At least we had our yellow Walkmans following us everywhere. Still Some have my Walkman somewhere. Waterproof, as if swimming in a People pool laugh at me. already fun enough. I walked around with it, but then we but grew up them. and discovered new technologies. It's a cool the first Walkman. iPod was not there yet, but we enjoyed the hit clips music players. Each cartridge could only play one song, but we were so popular when we owned one. If only we could still appreciate the value of music, like like we did before. And that's it for 10 pictures that will make you feel old. If you were a So, what do I feel? I feel old, but half of those things I still have. I still have VHS. I still have uh, CDs. I still have my Walkman. It's a great Walkman too. Like that, that thing I could throw on the floor and you can, it would still work. My cousin one time, got so pissed off that she couldn't listen to her song that she threw my Walkman down on the floor and I'm like, what the fuck? And I picked it up, played it, still still playing. It's a badass. It's badass. But yeah, I feel old, but still it's great to be old, I think. But anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation. Human Freak out. Bye! Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.